Hey guys welcome back to another video i hope you're all doing it really well today so you might notice that today is actually a completely different day to my intro i wanted to film a day in the life and i got as far as the intro so yeah that went really well i've got a few things that i want to do today so i thought i'd bring you guys along with me i don't know if it's going to all be in one day it might just be bringing you along for the week i'm not sure but i really want to transition my wardrobe First of all, because it's still full of summer stuff and I'm just not grabbing for that stuff anymore. So yeah, I wanna change my wardrobe, hang up all of my autumn winter bits, get it all cozy. I think the first thing I'm gonna do is take Max out because I'm kind of hoping if I tire him out before I start filming, he might let me get a little bit more done, but we'll see. My sister's also coming later with my nephew, which is gonna be really lovely. I'm also gonna be going to B&M tonight don't know if you can tell but I've had a bit of a hair mishap I thought I wanted to go lighter but the roots have just gone kind of like an auburny colour and I don't think it looks bad but I just miss being dark and I was actually going to start transitioning to blonde no not happening I've been lighter for like two days and I'm already missing my dark brown hair so yeah I want to go and get like a chocolatey cocoa colour hair dye and just do that like I'm always just box dyeing my hair I know I should go to the hairdressers but I don't I just always do it myself so I'm gonna do that tonight and then no doubt I'm gonna end up picking loads more up from B&M because who goes to B&M and buys like one thing I can't do it so probably gonna be a B&M haul at some point in today's video as well but yeah let's just get Max ready and go on a nice morning autumnal walk Get all cozy. Now we're done. Good boy. The train just left this town. Now back from the dog walk, which was really lovely. Um, can you hear the bunnies? They're being so loud. Um, but yeah, I've got a few bits that I want to put away, and then I want to transition my wardrobe so let me show you I've got the most coziest cup of coffee but anyway let me show you what I need to do okay so the bottom one here is all of like my knitwear and stuff and as you can see it really doesn't fit so I'm thinking of hanging all of this in the wardrobe there and then also taking out some of this because I've got my cozy like joggers and things for the winter in there but I've also got summer shorts and things that i'm just not gonna go for especially like these pink ones and stuff so i'm thinking i might just make this bottom drawer a summer drawer and just sort of move some bits over so my trousers fit i've got new trousers that i can't put away yet because they don't fit anywhere so i think if i'm just gonna organize this first and then see what we can put in the wardrobe over there Okay, so the next thing I want to do is just empty all of this out because they are actually really big drawers. So I think all of my summer bits are going to fit in here. And then, um, yeah, I can put everything else in the wardrobe, I think. Rob is going to be making the um, rail on this back wall smaller. And I don't know whether to just have like my everyday jumpers and coats and things just on display on the rail I'm not sure so I'll put it away for now and then we'll rearrange when I have a different rail but I'm pretty sure I can declutter a little bit as well because half of these I don't reach for so we'll see how we get on and if I can actually just donate stuff because if I'm not reaching for it then there's really no point in keeping it
Okay, so ignore the complete mess and my random uniform that just doesn't go with the colours that I'm trying to create, but I just leave that hung at the back. But the majority of this is going to be put away in the drawers. Shorts like this I think is perfect for autumn, winter to wear with like black tights and boots. So those shorts can stay and I think this skirt can stay because it's like a really thick knitted skirt. Okay, so I think this is all of it. So I need to like mix the hangers and the only thing is I don't think all of those jumpers are going to fit in the wardrobe because it is a really small wardrobe. So that's the only issue I think I'm going to find, which is why I'm thinking of having like a display rack. If you can see me, I'm in like a display rack putting it here I'm gonna just have a smaller rail and it can go there and then that might be where my knitwear ends up but yeah we'll see how much we can get in the wardrobe and just go from there Okay, so all the knitwear did fit, but it is a little bit, I don't know, bunched up, I suppose. And you can't really see my coats that are kind of squished in the back. So I think I am going to have all of my coats on the rail through in my dressing room and then just keep everything else in here. So I've got like my skirts, I've got a few like tops that are summery, but they're really good for layering. So I've got those and then... Skirts, shorts, dresses, jumpers, hoodies and all that sort of thing. So yeah, it is nice now I can actually just go through everything and see what I've got. But it's just not, it's not good at this bit. So I might pull that out and then see what it looks like after. That is so much better. So yeah, I've just got all of my coats and bits through here. I've got a random top that I need to put away but I'm thinking if I have a smaller rail like sort of if it stops there and then I can just display all of my coats along this wall here and yeah I think it will just look quite nice having all of the different colours like and textures and whatnot and yeah it just frees up a little bit of space so oh I need to add this one to it as well and I also have another coat downstairs and another one in the car so yeah i do have quite a few coats and i don't really want to have them all shoved in the back of the wardrobe so i think i'm just going to keep these ones on display how pretty does this look like i just think it looks so pretty and satisfying so this is all of my well not all but most of my summer clothes like all of my shorts and just the pink frilly tops and skirts and stuff that i'm not going to wear and then in this one, there's still loads more room. And I think some of these are still technically like summer clothes because they're like strappy tops, but they are ones that I wear all year round because they're good for layering and stuff. And then I've got a little bit more room for obviously <laughs> buying more stuff because I'm a little bit obsessed. And then these are all my trousers. So I've popped my jeans and stuff at the back because I don't really wear these. But I don't want to get rid of them just in case because I know what I'm like. I'll get rid of all my trousers and then not have anything to wear. So I've kept those ones at the back and then my new ones at the front. I do have two more pairs at my mum's house. She's turning them up for me because I have no idea how to turn up trousers. So she's got those. So I've just left a little bit of room for when I get those back. And then all of my leggings and my other trousers are there. 
and then all of like my comfy joggers and stuff at the back there this pile is to be donated i've had this top for years and i don't think i've worn it for the last couple of years so there's really no point in keeping that do you mind do you mind <laughs> and then a hoodie that i don't wear a friend's hoodie again i just i'm not going to reach for it now i've got all of my new jumpers so i may as well donate that if max doesn't eat it maxi so there's that and then a couple of pairs of jeans and like um jeggings that i know i'm not gonna wear because they're just too dark so yeah i'm gonna bag these up and then donate those i was never the one to write up a song for just anyone i I was always the one to find myself lost in all conversations of Cause I've always been told that things will unfold if you keep on waiting There's actually not as much as I thought there would be Um, brown, black, dark brown I think that might be the one Yeah, I think I've already changed my mind <laughs> This one looks quite nice Yeah, I think this one will do. It's a few days later and I'm not dressed or ready for the day or anything. I'm just having my morning coffee and I'm not even going to lie, it's about midday and I've literally only just woken up. So there's that. But yeah, haven't got ready for the day yet. About to dye my hair and I thought I would show you everything that i picked up from b&m before i do my hair because obviously the hair dye is something that i picked up and how cute is this mug that my sister got me for my birthday i love a good mug so yeah just gonna quickly go through everything we picked up and then show you the after of what my hair looks like first thing i picked up is some black magic the day that i'm filming this bit is actually my mum's birthday and i picked up some dark chocolate to go with her birthday present because she loves dark chocolate so i picked her up that can you believe i've never used a scrub daddy like ever and i don't know why so when i went in and saw the scrub mummy in pink obviously i had to get it so i got one of these and honestly it just makes me look forward to cleaning a little bit more with one of these so i think you put it under hot water and it goes soft and then cold water and it goes hard i don't know why i'm telling you all this i think i'm the only person on the planet that has never used one so really excited to use that i also picked up this wax melt i think i've already got it in gray but I don't really fancy it in grey so I just picked this one up it was only at 2 dollars I realise I've not really given you any prices so this I think was one ninety nine. there's no price on it and I don't know the price on this either but I think this was only a few quid as well obviously it's B&M so it's not expensive but yeah this was only £3 and just nice and simple so it'll just go with like all of my decor i don't really have to change it up for it to go so i got that saw these had to get them i actually saw these first and this is the reason i bought that but look how cute these little gingerbread melt things are they are gingerbread cookie one pound fifty for six for eight <laughs> and yeah they're just so so cute so i got those ones and then these ones are the Fireside Marshmallow, £1.50. And it's like a proper rainy, grey, gloomy day today. So I am definitely going to be whacking these bad boys out. Can't wait to get all, everything that's smelling really nice. I also picked up some toothpaste. I just got the Max White Optic one because I needed some more toothpaste. One of the reasons I went to be in it, can you hear the rain? It's crazy out there. So let me just turn you around. But isn't that a vibe? Like, it's so, so rainy as I'm filming. And I just... That looks really nice, actually. Anyway, one of the main reasons I went to B&M, except for the hair dye and the chocolates, was actually I wanted to look for the Mrs. Hinch new range. And the only thing they had in was the air mist. I've not even smelt this yet but I know that it's gonna smell amazing. It's in the frosted pine and eucalyptus. And yeah, I really wanna try and track down the whole range and then do like a whole big clean using 
only Mrs. Hinch. So that video is to come when I find the rest of this whole thing. Also picked up some Pledge. If you've been here a long time, you know that Pledge is my favourite to clean with and I've been using, I think it's a Fabulosa one I've been using at the minute and it's just not, it's just not hitting the right spot. So I got this one and yeah, I can't wait to use my OG Pledge. And I think that's it, except for the hair dye, let's have a look. The last thing I picked up, or technically the first thing I picked up, but I picked up some hair dye and I really can't wait to do my hair. So I got it in, bittersweet chocolate and I just think that looks really really nice and yeah I just can't wait to get like my hair all one colour because the roots at the minute is like really really light and then kind of ready and I just kind of hope this takes the red out so I actually got three oh three boxes because my hair is so long and thick it takes three boxes to do it but yeah I'm gonna go and dye my hair now and then the next time you see me hopefully I'm ready for the day and my hair is a lot better. This is the final result of my hair and honestly, I am obsessed with it. I love how dark it is. It is going to fade after a few washes, but I'm not mad about it being black. I think it's really, really nice. I'm obsessed. I'm also obsessed with this jumper. I think I picked it up in my last vlog from Tesco. It's the comfiest thing that I own. So I'm literally just living in it at the moment but i am going to go ahead and end today's vlog here because it's going to end up being a gazillion years long i really hope that you've enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe if you did and also leave it a thumbs up and i'll see you guys back here in the next one